Most 16 year olds are doing well if they, they get their driver's license. Maybe they have a job at a fast food place. Our next guest, who I was just talking to right over here, has already started in private practice. Desperate Housewives has a new movie coming out. Rachel G. Fox is coming in the studio. Come in, it's okay. <laughs> you can come in, it's all right. She's great, by the way. She plays the most, I'm gonna ask her this question. She plays the most evil character sometimes. Uh, a lot of the time, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I'll help you remember them, don't worry. Rachel G. Fox is quite a young actress who has been on some of the hottest shows on television. Here she is in private practice. Nine-year-old female found with multiple stab wounds. She's hypotensive. Okay, let's get her into bay one. Cross match of times four. Trauma panel, chest and abdomen. That's my sister. You have to save her. What's your name, sweetie? Missy. Missy, you should not be in here. No, no, no. I need to see my sister. Right, I got a page about a stab victim. Yeah, we got to get a handle on this bleeding. All right, I'll get the central line started. I told her I just needed an extra half hour to finish my algebra, and then we were going to make cupcakes. But when I went in to get her, she wasn't in a room, and I kept yelling her name and looking for her. And then I, I heard the sirens, and, and then the cars came and stopped at the house. Missy, and we should wait out. Outside. I didn't know she left the house. You lost your pulse. Help her, please. I need a thoracotomy trick. <gasps> oh, my baby. Oh, my God. What happened? Your daughter is suffering from multiple stab wounds, including one to the heart. We need to get her to surgery to repair it right now. We need to stem the blood flow. She's about to bleed out. Okay, just do what you have to do. Please, you gotta help her. Violet. Please. Everybody out now. It's okay. All right. <laughs> Missy. <Ooh. laughs> I mean, for <laughs> such a sweet 15-year-old, I've seen you in a couple of clips where you play some good evil there. I do. I love playing evil. I don't know what it is. It just kind of, I'm, I'm good at it. I don't know. Yeah, you just, I mean, obviously, you had a little too much to protest on tomorrow night's private practice. You already had your story out. Um, kind of, she yeah. She just did this, and she just did that, and I just did this, yep. and I did that. Well, I mean, I don't, I can't say it was too much to protest. She's just in such a heightened state because her sister was just stabbed repeatedly. And I mean, wouldn't she be that way if you had a sibling that was Stabbed. But without giving tomorrow night's episode away, uh -huh. is it possible that you had something to do with it? I mean, oh my gosh, if I if I told you even the slightest <sighs> possibility, then people may or may not want to watch. So people just have to wait and watch the episode to see because everyone will be extremely surprised. Well, and you weren't exactly an innocent wallflower in Desperate Housewives either. <laughs> not at all. No, Kayla was pure evil. Yeah. That's my character. Yeah, I think people have come to now. Have you have you followed all of the uh, the news following the Desperate Housewives in reality and the in the court and everything? Um, I have heard things about it, but I don't know exactly any of the details. I just know that there was some drama with one of the housewives. That's but right, I mean, yeah. I hope I hope everything's okay. I hope everything turns out good and correctly. Here you are in Desperate Housewives, in fact, making uh -huh. up a story. My most evil, one of my most evil scenes. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about? How did you? How no, do you get pegged for playing these characters who have such a dark side at such a young age? You know what? I can't. I can't really tell you exactly what. I just. I mean, I don't know why a lot of these um, roles are very evil. But I'm actually going to be in a film called Utopia coming out soon, and that is actually not evil at all. She's a very nice girl, kind of a little crazy because she's goth, but she's not. Now evil. this is a here. You, here you are with your fellow cast members. John Lovitz just off, right next to you. Rita Wilson is there, and mm -hmm. you can you can help me name some of the others. Uh, Joel David Moore um, is my older brother, and I am John Lovitz and Rita Wilson's daughter. And Jamie Lynn Sigler's there. She was. On Sopranos and now this is an adaptation from a play that began in yes. Los Angeles a yes. long-running comedy yeah, play. The, actually the longest off-Broadway off Broadway yes. play right and it is going to debut in a couple of days at the yes. Newport Beach Film Festival yes. tell us about the, the, the plot how what, what goes on in Jutopia well it's a really I mean it kind of explores how people from different religions um, relate and interact with each other it's basically about this guy who wants to he's Christian and he wants to get um, you know he wants to kind of date and go out with this girl who's Jewish, but she won't date anyone unless they are Jewish. So this Christian guy calls on his Jewish friend and he helps him completely put on the show, pretend that he is Jewish to get this Jewish girl to fall in love with him. <laughs> it's hilariously funny. And I play the Jewish guy's little sister, Jill Lipschitz, and she is very <laughs> goth. And I mean, I know the name already. It's very funny. Well, you know, actually we asked for a clip and they couldn't send us a clip that was Arable on <laughs> television at five o'clock. Yeah. So well, is this a, is this this is a racy movie you're in? I mean, 
mean, it's not it's not anything crazy or, or um, you know, um, too far out there. The movie overall is pretty, it's pretty okay. It's just my character specifically is, um, she's a pretty tough girl. She's goth and she just says a lot of um, edgy things. She's a very edgy character. But well, for me, that was fun to play. Well, now, uh, Rita Wilson actually said this is kind of like the, the Jewish equivalent of my big fat Greek exactly. wedding. You don't have to be Greek to appreciate that. No, you don't not have to be all. Jewish to no, appreciate not this. No, And this, the film, it goes through um, different religions, Christianity, there's some Buddhism, there's all different religions in there. It's for everyone. The name Jutopia just kind of stuck and was just the funniest one. Finally, you're, you're, you're in high school, right? Um, I actually just graduated. I do still take some classes you graduated online. Graduated from high school? I did, you're yes. Gra I graduated early, yes. But, but early? You barely. <laughs> are you kidding me? I just flew through it. I went through really quick wow. and I, I wanted to get done so right. I can, you know, move on and do other things. I was going to ask you what kind of click you're in, but I guess we already <laughs> know, don't we? Rachel G. Fox, thank yes. you for being thank here. Thank you. And it premiere, are you going to be at the premiere in Newport Beach? Oh, I absolutely am on Thursday. Newport Beach Friday. on Thursday. Yes. We look forward to seeing the movie. Yes. And be sure to watch tomorrow night at 10 o'clock, uh, or at least you can DVR tomorrow night at 10 o'clock on ABC uh, Private Practice, because, of course, you're going to be watching our newscast at 10. Uh, coming up next, our video of the day. We'll be right back. Is that okay if I said that? Absolutely. You gave me a joke.